Hi, Libra. Welcome to your December 2017 astro update. It's Raina here. So Libra, if you're interested in dealing with your family, I think you're going to have ample opportunity in December. And I ask you, or I, I put it in that way, because some people don't necessarily get along with their family. And this may be a situation where you're having to come to terms with something that has happened in the past. Because uh, Venus is going into your third house, which can deal with siblings, and maybe cousins, extended family members on the 1st of December. Okay, so that is a planet that rules you, actually. And that can create harmony um, between you and your brothers and sisters. And Venus is going to go into the fourth house, which is the house of home and family on Christmas Day, the 25th. So the fact that Venus rules you means that we look to Venus to kind of um, see where everything is happening for you or where the influences are happening. And for you, it's in these two houses. Now, a couple of days after Venus enters Sagittarius on the first, we have Mercury going retrograde in that third house. So you may find that there is some kind of, I don't know what you would call it, like a communication breakdown that may have to do with your siblings. Now, to be fair, the third house is not just brothers and sisters and cousins. It's also dealing with your local area. It's um, any kind of communication because it's the house that Gemini rules in the universal chart and so it deals with the internet, other forms of communication, phone calls, um, you know, documents, contracts that need to be signed, learning, teaching, public speaking. So if any of those things has been on your back burner, maybe you were going to engage in them, you may find that there's further delays, further things that need to be ironed out. And Mercury is going to be going retrograde in this sector until the 22nd. So um, definitely, if there's any kind of contracts that you have to sign, expect delays. And if you can, only if you can, think about possibly waiting until Mercury goes direct because um, Mercury actually rules contracts. And in, in the third house, that's the house that it would normally fall into. So it's really kind of um, doubling down on potential snafus. But this can be something where somebody misunderstands you, you're talking to a sibling, they misunderstand what you said, and then all of a sudden it's on. And the the thing that I say, it's like, with any type of situation, it takes two, obviously. So if somebody is loaded for bear and they seem like they're the one that wants to start things, you don't have to play along. And usually Librans don't play along, but what makes uh, this time period quite interesting for Libra is for the first nine days of the month, you have Mars in your signs. So you may be uncharacteristically aggressive. And so you may even step on some toes inadvertently while you are trying to be uh, more assertive. Um, I often observe people who, like, let's say they're in a restaurant and they're kind of barking out orders or any kind of situation where somebody has to serve you, has to give you something. Um, even like when you're shopping and the person asks you, do you, do you want, you know, do you want your receipt? You know, here's your change. And the person doesn't say thank you, or they are, it's actually more, it's not just about being impolite, but more about this sense of asking for what you need. When you see people that are very uh, pushy, 
a lot of times they feel very disempowered. And the only way that they know how to ask for what they need is to be overly aggressive. When you really step into your power, there is no need to um, be like obnoxious to try to get what you want. Now, it seems like I'm lecturing the wrong person because Librans tend to be very polite and um, civil. But what I'm talking about is while you have Mars in your sign, and this, a lot of you are going to be watching in November, and that is the time when the whole month when you have it in your sign. Be careful because it's a different type of energy than what you are normally um, putting out in the world. And so you may feel like you just got like this uh, steroid injection and you feel like you're um, Superman or Superwoman. And it really is um, aggress uh, aggressiveness is not assertiveness. Assertiveness is being able to ask for what you want. And it's like you, it doesn't like you feel confident that you are deserving of it. And I think that's an important component is do you feel worthy of what you're asking for? And uh, that's just something to explore in general because um, all of us have this need to learn how to receive. It's not always that easy. And we can reject um, not only when people try to give us things, like even something as simple as a compliment, reject that, but we can also reject our own um, responsibility to ask for what we want. It's easier to play safe and to blame other people for things, you know? So I know I got off into a tangent, but I did want to talk about that because I think that this is going to be kind of a significant time period. But then Mars goes into your 12th. Um, I, can't, I said this, I, I actually changed this because I had some of my old information. Mars goes into your second house on um, the ninth of the month. And um, that's the house of earned income. So Librans may be hustling, trying to make that buck. Um, this is during the Christmas season. So there may even be some tie into the holidays, who knows, but you're going to also have the physical stamina to be able to um, achieve your goals. So if even if you have to work long hours, you've got it going on, and you're able to do that. Now, I I kind of, um, I think I forgot to talk about this uh, full moon that's happening on the 3rd of December, the same day as the Mercury retrograde. So uh, pardon me, and let me go back to that third, the third of the month. This is in a fellow air sign, Gemini. This is going to be in your ninth house of higher education, long distance travel. So I do see a parallel or a connection between this full moon and all of the activity that's actually going into your third house, um, dealing with possible uh, training and learning. So some of you may um, be getting your degrees. Yes, you can get your college degree in December. I did. I went back to school in my late 30s, and I actually got a degree in my early 40s. You can do that. Um, and it depends on if it's important to you, if it's something that you want. Um, or it's some kind of a training that you finished. It would be more, I think it would be more like a university thing, or unless like it's a yoga certification, because the ninth house can be like anything spiritually based. It's the God house. So yeah, things like that. Um, you may be coming back from a trip that you've taken, a long distance trip, or um, you have finished planning for a trip that you're going to be embarking upon. So there's going to be a new moon in Sagittarius on the 18th, and this is going to be in that third house of communication. So any kind of situation with siblings, you may come to a new understanding, may your relationship may shift at some point, and there may be some kind of um, 
a new way that you approach one another. And so that can be very good. And you can trace that to the harmonizing aspects of um, Venus. And let's talk about the other thing that is happening that d that deals with family. Saturn going into Capricorn. Now, Saturn has been in that um, third house for two and a half years. So some of you may have actually um, started some kind of online uh, situation, uh, YouTube, uh, blogs, what have you, again, with the training, some kind of teaching. And there's, I, it's really weird because it's almost like a culmination at the time of that new moon in Sag. It's a new beginning, but it's in a late degree of Sag, and it's very close to um, the last degree of um, Saturn in Sagittarius on the 18th, which will be at 29 degrees, the critical degree. And then on the 19th, Saturn goes into Capricorn your fourth house of home and family. So what can you expect? Well, it's possible that some of you will be spending more time with family, especially mother, and taking care of her, feeling the sense of responsibility towards your family of origin. Um, it may have something to do with even the property or a property. And for some people, you may have wanted to move and you may find that it's more difficult at this time because it can relate not only to your past, but your per present house, your present family. And if that's the case, just understand that Saturn is a teacher, okay? So if you have been trying to sell your house and it seems like now it's like uh, more difficult, it might be that you need to focus less on the cosmetic changes of your life, like moving to a new location and do some inner work. That's always a possibility. And who knows, maybe it does connect with your family of origin. Maybe there's like some kind of like interesting link between your physical home now and that metaphorical or whatever you would call it um, home uh, from your family of origin, where everything um, has now, you know, that's where the past rests, but it's no longer part of your reality on that level. That doesn't mean that you don't have work to do. And when I say work, I don't mean obs being obsessed with the past. I mean, really looking at it. Maybe you haven't really looked at what happened when you were growing up, you've kind of shoved it under the rug. And that may be something that is going to have to come up for you. And interestingly, if you are a Libran who is born, I think it would be in like the late 80s, you're having your Saturn return, where Saturn is going back to the same sign it was when you were born. Um, you, you'd be in your late 20s for sure. Because uh, that's when the first Saturn return occurs. And then add 30 years to that or subtract 30 years. So somebody born maybe in the late 50s. Um, I can't say for sure because I'd have to look at the ephemeris. But some people who are late in their late 50s may go be going through their second Saturn return. And so all of this is, you know, affecting you on that level as well. Um, and then the sun goes into Capricorn a couple of days after that on the 21st when we have the, the, the solstice. I won't say summer or winter because that will depend on where you live. And um, so up until that date, the sun is in your third house still and, you know, where the, where the new moon is and where Venus is. Um. Well, actually, Venus, um, yeah, Venus is there for the first few weeks of the month. So Libra, that's what I have for you in December. And um, I hope everything is great for you. Happy holidays if you celebrate any holidays in December. And um, 
just want to let you know that I'm offering 20% off of all my online readings, including my natal chart interpretation, which is just purely looking at your astrological chart, not only for your patterns, your uh, talents, personality traits, but also for the upcoming year. Um, I can do any 12 month period. Well, you know, people tend to do the next 12 months whenever they order, but, um, the highlights in different areas, like your work life, your love life and stuff like that. So, and I have other types of readings. Um, the link is below for that. The coupon code is Jupiter with all caps and you get 20% off of the listed prices. Otherwise, good luck to you. Take care. Bye.